never taken any acting classes and I've never done any sports because I'm bad. <laughs> I was like, I'm really struggling with my breath control. And like, I'm like, like fumbling my way through this. I'm like, okay, I am really stubborn. I'm big Aries energy. And if there's something that I'm just like, this needs work, I'm like, I'm going to work really, really hard on this one particular thing. So um, I started doing yoga regularly. Like, I did yoga like every single day. And then I even signed up for kendo for a little bit so I could get better with breath control. And it has made a world of difference since then. Like, that really helped me because. Um, I could focus more on the acting and so the thing like, did I take a big enough breath to get through like these sentences or this paragraph because for ADR you don't always have breaks or anything where you can breathe, yeah. like with like yeah. freeform freely animation or with video games that like aren't to time and stuff like that. So I was like, I have to get real good at breathing. Uh, <laughs> which ended up helping when I started doing um, long form narration for audiobooks later on. I was so used to like kind of controlling my breathing, I can get through these paragraphs and I'm like, oh, I don't have to do all that in one breath anymore, but I could if I needed to. <laughs> But um, yeah, so that was like kind of like a big technical kind of Yeah, no, that's so me. cool. You yeah. even took Kendo up, like that's cool. Yeah, I was very bad at it, but um, yeah, fun, at least. your girl did it. Like, and I was like, oh yeah, so like that's like, cause um, Clifford Chapin was my um, director on it and he was like, have you ever done like a martial art? And I was like, no. <laughs> and, um, I was like, I'm gonna go find one. <laughs> so yeah, it was really fun. It's a good one to do. I did yeah. Kendo for a year. So Dude, like, that's a wow. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome though. Spar. Yeah. Yes, yes. Can, we, no. can we get some swords on the stage? He will kill me! <laughs> um, no, I think the, uh, the biggest, like, I feel like milestone for my growth as an actor, uh, so when I was doing theater and, like, during my start as a voice actor, I never thought I could do cool characters. And I always wanted to be a cool character, just somebody that was just cool. Uh, I was always the silly man. It was always silly and funny and wacky. Um, but then I got to work on a show called Kemono Jihen uh, as a character called Yui, and he's like this cool, like, teen, and he, he talks down here, and he's like always super cool. Ooh. And it took me, like, it was like, all, like a, it was a trial for me to get through that show because, like, my instincts were honed into being a silly man. And, like, that was not what the character wanted. So it was, like, really tough for me. We had to, like, redo so many lines. And, like, I felt like I was, like, like I'm not the right person for this. Like, I'm supposed to be silly. I can't be cool. Uh, but the director dragged me through that whole show and, like, the end product was like something I was super happy with, and that really like helped break a lot of like the the misconceptions I had about myself and what I was capable of as an actor. And uh, yeah, because of that, like I, now I'm a bunch of cool guys, and I feel cool about it too. Aw, you are cool, Ben. And Andy's a cool, silly guy. Yeah, that's amazing. I got to like, do both. Yeah, I got to do both. It's great. It's wonderful. That's so. a both world. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yay! Oh well, congratulations and good job, all of you. I mean, it's it's tough work, right? I think a lot of people will look at creative industries and creative work and think that it's easy. You're just having fun all the time, but it is a lot of work. You put in um, a lot of mental work, technical work. Uh, you do studying, um, whether it's self study or professional study at schools. Um, what what do you what do you each plan to do for your future growth? How do you plan to continue your growth in the future? I keep doing things that are really scary. Ooh. Like okay. I think that's where I'm at now. It's like okay, I'm really intimidated. Like I I took drag classes. Okay, that's from, different. Like from drag queens, that's and I was cool. incredibly intimidated, and they're very intense but supportive, and then, you know, and then I took burlesque classes, and I'm like, gosh, you know, like, I've always wanted to be a better, more comfortable in my body, I guess. Yeah. You know, like, as a young person, I took singing lessons because I was terrified I was of opening my mouth and making the wrong sounds. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what are you scared of? Go do it, go try it. You don't have to be good at it, to just yeah. demystify it, and then you stand on the other side of it, you're like, well, that's really great that I could do that if yeah. I wanted to do more of it. So, yeah, doing things that scare you is always probably a good human experience. Yeah, definitely. That's so cool. Uh, what led you to, has, has any of that um, burlesque training or the drag training come back and reflected in any of your roles that you're, you're 
you're doing or have done? I think it just lets you walk around in your own life with a little bit more of the confidence you've always wondered how other people have. Yeah. And so you pretend to be a cool guy until you start to think, why can't I be a silly, sappy, emotional, cool guy? That's going to be just fine. Yeah. And then you just are the cool guy. And then you just, just, you just say, I will. I'll show up in my life that way. Why not? I can now. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Did you, between burlesque and drag, which one was more uh, intimidating? Drag, probably? Because, yeah, did you just take like... Uh, well, they were both drag, like, it was a drag-lesque and then a burlesque, so they were both involving okay. the removal of clothing. <laughs> gotcha. And I suppose by the second performance, that was really free, because again, like, everyone has their own hang-ups about, this is the vessel I have to exist in, and of course it's imperfect, and I have my own opinions about that. But then it was also like, every... Buddy's body is imperfect, and it's actually just way better when we're like, hey, my imperfections are cool and so are yours. Yeah, and I mean, it's, I found it so, well, I'll just, I'll table that. The fact that we even call them imperfections, we're just, it's just the body. We were just given, we live, we have a life, that's cool. Yeah. Like, the fact that they've been deemed like, oh, you should fix, especially as like a female in Hollywood. Uh, it's like, you fix mm -hmm. this, fix this, and this has to be, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Um, I feel like the most beautiful people, uh, I, I, you know, who would have lots of imperfections on paper, but they're just like beautiful humans. And then like, I don't even see any of that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> for growth, I think I've mentioned this in a podcast interview that I was on recently, but I need to um, kind of improve my healthy relationship with discipline. I think we're told Ooh. that like discipline is this like rigid, you know, thing that at school or like a strict parent or teacher or something, but it's actually like the nicest thing you can do for yourself. Um, and I'm trying to be better at that. So when it comes to just, I don't know, sleep schedule, yes. what I eat, um, taking myself to, to work out in some manner and have it be mm -hmm. fun and not like, you have to work out cause blah, but like, ooh, I get to work out and like it feels good after. Like, yeah. I don't know. So just kind of improving that area because there's lots of areas. I grew up singing, I grew up dancing. Um, I majored in screenwriting and I haven't written in so long just because I've been traveling. So just yeah. kind of being better about structuring my time, which means saying no to stuff. Yeah, and that's, that's the hard part, hard. isn't it? Uh, that's really hard because there are so many friends who I like haven't seen. And they're like, oh, yeah. you're, I'm back for one day before I leave. And there's like three people who are like, do you want to catch up? And I'm like, no. <laughs> It's not, no, I don't but, like you, or no, I don't want to But I just you. love you, like, can we FaceTime for like 20 minutes? And yeah. then, like, I, I, like... I know I'll never be the same Shook my world so hard again Wish I washed away my sins He's a dead man walking Blank staring in his eyes Should've given up on the ones I trust Never should've been surprised When they shot him